This morning we are highlighting Hattie Redmond who helped women in Oregon get the right to vote. Her impact on the women's suffrage movement went largely unnoticed until recent years and now she's finally getting the recognition she deserves. KGW's China Green has more on Hattie's story. Many women played a pivotal role during the women's suffrage movement of the early 1900s and one of those is Hattie Redmond. She helped lay the groundwork for the black civil rights movement several decades later. This is the only picture we have of Hattie. She was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1862. Her family moved to Hood River before eventually settling in Portland by 1880. Hattie held suffrage meetings and lectures at Mount Olivet Baptist Church that once stood here at the corner of Northwest Broadway and Everett. During the campaign for suffrage in Oregon in 1912, she was president of the Colored Women's Equal Suffrage Association. The campaign was successful in Oregon, and in April of 1913, she got her voter registration card. It wasn't until 1920 that the 19th Amendment passed, granting women the right to vote nationwide. Hattie passed away in 1952 at the age of 90. Her contributions went largely unknown until 2012 during the centennial celebration of women's suffrage. Historians discovered details of her life and uncovered her grave marker at Lone Fir Pioneer Cemetery that was buried years after her death. In recent years, Oregon State University has renamed the Benton Annex Building to the Hattie Redmond Women and Gender Center. And here in Portland, the Hattie Redmond Apartments opened last year on North Interstate Avenue in the Kenton neighborhood. It's long-term housing for people with disabilities who are experiencing homelessness.